So let me set the scene for you. I woke up, no joke, about five minutes ago. I did a wee, I got my coffee, and I had one of those ripper sleeps where you're in a coma, you're just having an abundance of dreams. I wake up, go outside, and I check my phone. There's a bunch of messages from friends. Now, these are certain friends that I usually talk about either like horror or lately, The Crow. And I just see the preview message. I don't see the photo. I just see the preview message. Oh boy, this isn't good. I'm cautiously optimistic. You boys know who you are and thank you for letting me know. I then open my phone and see we have a first reveal of Bill Skarsgård as Eric Draven slash The Crow. And this is my first thought. No bueno. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video here on the channel. And excuse me if I'm a little bit groggy, like I just said, I woke up five minutes ago. I got a very busy day today, but as soon as I saw this news breaking, I had to talk about it. And it's interesting because uh, as some of you saw a couple of days ago, I uploaded an update video about the Uncharted 2 script and also the fact that we have a release date for the Crow's reboot, I guess you could call it. And we haven't had a trailer nor a, a teaser poster or even a first look at Bill Skarsgård. But because all the studios watch my videos, you know, they watch very closely with a keen eye, they figured they may as well release a first look at Bill Skarsgård at Eric Draven. So we have three photos, they come from Vanity Fair and my first impression, I always like to be very optimistic, but he looks like a fucking SoundCloud rapper. Now, before we check out the three photos, the article I'm gonna be referencing comes from Bloody Disgusting. I know the photos come from Vanity Fair, but I love Bloody Disgusting, always wanna support Bloody Disgusting. And they go on to say, Bill Skarsgård takes over the iconic role of Eric Draven in Lionsgate's new reboot of The Crow, and the first images of the first film have been released ahead of an official trailer. The Crow reboot will release in theaters on June 7th, 2024, and Vanity Fair has shared three first look images this morning that reveal Bill Skarsgård's tattooed take on Eric Draven. Director Rupert Sanders, Snow White the Huntsman, Ghost in the Shell, explains to Vanity Fair, I think the beauty of Bill is that he has a disturbing beauty. As he transforms through his loss, he becomes this thing that even he can't control. And that's the famous line, whoever fights monsters must be careful that they do not become one. Now, firstly, I don't have a problem with the casting of Bill Skarsgård as the Crow slash Eric Draven. I think he's a wonderful actor. He has, like they said, this kind of haunting beauty to him, but, Let's just check out these photos. I haven't properly examined them in proper detail. I had a first look, went and had a vomit in the toilet, but then we're gonna have a proper look now. So here is the first main photo. And what is it with giving them tattoos? And it's not saying that they're bad, it's just, it's unnecessary. Like you look at Eric Draven from the source material, from James O'Barr's comics. This looks nothing like him. In terms of the base face, like Bill's face, it actually does resemble the comic version of Eric a lot more than Brandon Lee, which isn't a problem. Like I love Brandon Lee. I love the first crow. I'm very protective of that film. City of, City of Angels could have been so good, but it got butchered by the studios. And the Edward Furlong crow, we do not talk about that. There's also a TV series, but I do like Bill's face and the makeup is sort of there. They do have the, 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 the sad clown look going on with the eyes, the, the mouth, but what is with the tattoos and where is the white makeup? Like there's no white makeup, it just looks like Bill's skin. He's got that dweeby kind of fuckboy haircut. Like he's got the leather jacket, but we see the tattoos. And again, it's just very Jared Leto Joker-esque. Now, if we go on to the next one, it's him and I'm assuming Shelly, hopefully. Again, this like the SoundCloud rapper is final form here. Like look at that haircut, man. Look at the shaved sides and Maybe I'm just an old man and just set in my ways, but to me, this does not look like Eric Draven at all. Actually, hang on. Let me go back. Let me go back. I want to see that other photo. Did they include... I'm going to be really pissed if they didn't include it. Do they... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I can just see he's got the scar on the nose. That is very important. If they didn't have the fucking scar on the nose, I'd be very cranky. What, okay, that says whatever near his hairline and then above his brow, lullaby? Ah... Uh... I'm scared, guys. I'm really scared. Now, the third photo is what looks like him and Shelly, and he's kissing her through a sheet. And again, it's just more like the same angle and the same look, but he's got the trench coat on now. And I don't know what to think of this one, guys. I honestly was expecting, like, true to the comics. And he's got the physique as well. He's got that toned, 
ripped muscular physique that Eric has in the comics. Brandon Lee also got ripped for the role. He actually had to drop weight for the role. But this, I hate to say, at the moment, this gives me no hope. But at the same time, I'm going to see it. I'm going to see this film no matter what. There is apparently a trailer incoming. I'm going to be very keen to see how that one looks. But for now, this just looks strange and otherworldly. To me, this looks like bad AI. Like someone has just entered a really shit description into AI and this is what is generated. I need a fucking sip of my coffee. Okay, so pros to take away from this. I like the casting of Bill Skarsgård. He's got the face for it. He clearly has the physique for it. The cons? Actually, one more pro. They have got remnants of the traditional crow makeup there, minus the white clown makeup. The cons? The tattoos. And it's nothing against tattoos. He just doesn't need the tattoos. They're just silly ones for that matter. The hair looks weird. I would have loved just greasy black hair. Also, you need the bullet shell cartridge in the hair as well. Let me go back. Let me just make sure I haven't missed it so I don't look like a dickhead. So far, I can't see a bullet cartridge in his head. And that's from the comics. I even had that shit in my cosplay. Uh, uh. I don't know. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Like, who signed off on this? Who thought, yeah, 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 look, it went so well with Jared Leto's Joker. Those tattoos just worked a treat and didn't become a meme at all. So it'll be the same this time around with Bill and how he looks as the grow. Guys, you know me. Always try and be a positive Paul. But, yeah. I can't get on board with this right now. Look, maybe I'll see the trailer and be like, okay. This looks promising. Apart from the look, everything else looks great. Or he may get a final form Eric Draven in the movie. Who knows at this point? This could just be the start of his eventual um, turn into what we know and love as Eric Draven as the crow from the comics and the same look Brandon Lee has, but with those tattoos and everything, I don't know, man. Like, I get it, he's a musician, but at the same time, you just look like a, a SoundCloud rapper today. Like, I don't know. I think I'm just old and cranky. Guys, with that being said, let me know your thoughts down below on the newly released photos of Bill Skarsgård as the crow. Are you a fan of the changes or it's a no-go? Love your guts and I'll catch you in the next one.